Alright, so Dwellers Below got a secret spooky change. Spawns additional areas of effect. Okay, so the projectiles, whatever that means, goes up to 50 if you overcast it. Understood. So Dwellers Below lost a bunch of armor piercing damage per second, but it now apparently spawns vortexes? I don't fully know what that means, but we're going to find out right now. That is a bigger area of effect for sure. Alright, we'll cast it on them. See what it does. Okay, that's doing a lot more damage. That is doing so much more damage! What the fuck? Oh my god! That does so much more damage! Why? Why? Why are we buffing Lore of Life? Why are we doing that? Why would we ever buff Lore of Life? Lore of Life is already the best because it does all the healing. You literally nerfed, you nerfed Dwellers Below because Lore of Life was too good at doing damage and doing healing. And then you reworked just that Lore of Life does a bunch of damage again. Why would we do that? Why would we do that? All right, I'm gonna undercast it. Then I'll redo this with the overcast and see what the difference is. Why would we do that? Why would we rebuff it back up to being the best spell in the whole fucking game? Why would we do this? Oh my god, I'm upset! Yes, it is 20 wins of magic. It's not like the most... Okay, it's not like the most broken spell in the entire game. Most... Most Vortex spells could do that kind of damage. The Cav was what surprised me. It did so much fucking damage to the Cav. Alright, let's see this shit with overcasts, huh? Come on, Knights of the Realm. We all know you're gonna do it. So how much does an overcast even cost? Four more wins of magic for 20 more of those little spawn things. Because their projectiles are initially 30. And you can see if I overcast, it goes up to 50. That's so much damage! That's so much That's not okay! How is that okay? Why? Why is the lore of life even better? Why? Oh, I'm so scared now. I'm so scared just to be the lore of life meta. Let's overcast it on two peasants, see what happens. Holy shit, it's just a leader, man! Why? And I know, some of you some of you are gonna be like, well, it's a 20 wins of magic, 24 if you overcast it spell, of course it should delete them. Like, fair, bro, fair, but they nerfed it because the lore of life is supposed to be a supportive healing lore, which it's already the best in multiplayer. It's literally the best lore in the entire game. And CA nerfed Dwellers Below, so it wasn't the best light, like, it wasn't the best supportive lore in the entire game, while also being a fine damage lore. They nerfed Dwellers, so it was just good at healing, and it was still the best in the meta. And now with this, they're like, never mind, fuck it, Dwellers is better than Dwellers was when everyone took Dwellers every game. Oh my god, what? <laughs> That's so bad! Alright, I've had a bunch of people ask me about the Troll Hammer Torpedo updates. I honestly didn't notice that there were updates until y'all told me about it, so let's take a look at them. Increased range by a ton. And people were saying they're less accurate. It does look like they're less accurate. I'm, this is my first time playing with them on the new patch. Like, I'm literally reacting to the same thing you're seeing. Okay, a bit longer of a reload time. Really good damage though, especially considering the Blood Knights get extra missile resistance because of the Flag of Blood Keep when they're not in melee. So now that they're in melee, this should be much worse for them. Okay. It does look like their DPS. It looks like their DPS took a nerf for the increased range. And they seem a bit less reliable when something is in melee. Because the old, the, their arcs of fire are much more straight. The old troll hammers were a little bit more up and down, so they could fire easier into things that are in melee. Like look at how badly they're obliterating their own dwarf warriors shooting these blood knights. Um, so overall, yeah, I think I'm agreeing with what most of chat was saying to me off and on. Is that's probably a nerf overall. At the cost of range, you will lose some accuracy. That's fine. Their damage looks the same, but I think that arc of fire being more flat is what's causing the real problem here. So yeah, Trollhammer Trip, he doesn't probably nerf. I don't know if that's good for the game or not. Personal opinion, I love Trollhammer Torpedoes. I think they're very fun and funny. But I also know that when dwarves are strong, Trollhammers can be really fucking annoying. Because they're hard to take out. They're super tanky. And, like, they do... On the live patch, they did insane damage. But super short range. Like, 
So I could see, like, if they were super strong and OP, they could be unfun. But yeah, I do think this is a nerf to them. That's a little unfortunate because I love this unit so much. But for game balance and game design, I don't actually know if it's a bad idea. So we'll see. The last one is kind of interesting, but also probably not a great idea. Uh, Dwarves got Ulrika. They can just take Ulrika, so now they can use Shadow's magic when the Dwarves' whole thing is their roster is OP, but they don't have access to magic. Now they can just have access to magic? That doesn't seem particularly bright. So you could have rune magic plus regular magic and magic some fools. So that's... That's not great. Rawr. Subscribe, yes, yes.